Hey everyone, in today's YouTube video, I wanna show you how to blur faces or any object inside of a YouTube video. YouTube has vastly improved this option. It's been around for some time, but now it's so much easier and more user-friendly. So I wanna show you exactly how to use it. So why would you wanna use this? Well, if you don't have permission to use someone's face, you wanna avoid getting a copyright. That's a good reason to blur someone's face when you don't have permission to use that person. Or if you want to blur something you forgot to blur in editing, like a license plate or a phone number, you could still do that to your videos using this new blur option inside of YouTube. Let me show you exactly how to use it. So we need to go inside of YouTube Creator Studio. So you could log into your YouTube channel, click your profile icon here, and then go to YouTube Creator Studio. And on this page, let's go to the videos tab. And here, find the video where you wanna blur a face or really any object in the video. In this case, let me go ahead and find a video with my face on it right here. I'm gonna click it. Now you could do it to videos that are not published yet. So in this case, if the video was unlisted, for example, or if you're uploading a new video, leave it on unlisted so you could come to this page the same way I just did. Now here on the left side, there's the editor, click that. And the editor brings you to this view. Now here you could change end screen, you could change out your audio, for example, but right here, blur parts of your video. That's what we wanna click on. And there's two different options, face blur or custom blur. If you choose face blur, it's going to actually scan your entire video and find a face in the video to blur or multiple faces. So I'm gonna let this complete. This may take quite some time depending on the length of your video and how many faces are in your video. But I'm gonna let this actually finish detecting faces. I'll show you the next step. Okay, the scan is complete and it's going to show you the faces that it found in the video. I could either select all the faces or just the one I wanna blur and I could highlight it here and press apply. Now, as you could see, it put this over my face. I could actually move this around. I could change the size of it. If I grab the side, you can see I could change the size. And if I press save, it's gonna apply that change to this video. I could also press blur right here to add an additional blur. For example, I could do custom blur here. And this is really useful. You could see this rectangle blur, but I can move it. Let's say I wanted to blur my logo. I could put that over here. I could change the shape from rectangle to oval if it fit better with the type of shape I was trying to cover up. You can see now it's an oval shape if I put it right here. And I could let it track an object or I could just fix it to a blur position if I don't want it to move around. So I'll just could leave it right here. In the case of the face, I do want it to track. And now if you look down here, I have one blur. This track is for the face that I chose. And the second blur is for the shape that I chose that I custom added over here. And it's going to show you where it starts and where it ends. And if you change your mind, you can press the garbage can over here to delete that element. But if you wanna save it, just press save right up here. And if you look down here, these dark gray areas are the parts that is blurring. The light grays are the parts that is not blurring, meaning there is no face and it didn't recognize that face in those portions. In those portions of the video, I cut to the phone here so I'm not actually on screen, so it makes sense. But make sure you press play and review your video after you press save. Again, it may take a little bit of time to update. And it's that simple to add a blur to any video on YouTube. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech and social media videos. And I'll see you next time.